guys, this is my this is my new rig. Um, I, well, not new really. I just replaced the uh, previous three uh, 5850s with three uh, GTX 470s uh, by PNY, the NVIDIA ones. And the reason I went with the NVIDIA ones is I actually went through 13 different 5870s from MSI, Gigabyte. I mean, I, I went through so many different ones. I decided it was just ridiculous. So I decided to try out the new GTX series and 480s run a bit hot for me. Um, if you like them, you know, that's great. But um, Personally, I thought it was more cost effective to go with the uh, 470s anyway. So anyway, here, I'm going to run a few benchmarks, but first I'll show you them. And if you can see it, I'll zoom in. Okay, just to prove that these are the 470s. You can see where, oh, sorry, where it says GTX 470, right below the PNY technologies. And there are three of them. Try and get this in here. Here's the Tri SY bridge, three way SY. The Asus P6 T6 Revolution 4. There they are. You've seen that inside before. Okay. Sorry, I need to go get a uh, camera mount. Just gonna hold it for now. Hang on just a second. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and run 3 Marco 6 and I'll make another one with Vantage since I don't think I can fit them both. Let's go ahead and get started here. This is 3D Marco 6. Okay, give me just a second to start it up. And this new camera actually uh, is a uh, JVC uh, a Vario. Very cool camera, 1080p and everything. Because um, I was using the droid, and I know you guys know how horrible that was. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run 3D Mark. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm going to have to cancel that. Forgot to put the fans up, unless I can get them on. Actually, I think they're at about 78% anyway. Sorry, let me cancel that, and I'll put it right back up. It'll go quick. Sorry about that. Okay, aborted, yes. And yeah, the fans, they're not incredibly loud. I keep mine up pretty high just because these do tend to run hotter. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was fast. Didn't even show that. 155. I would put fraps up, but um, lately it's been really messing with uh, 3D Mark 06 and Vantage. Because I don't know why it didn't used to, but now they simply won't run when I'm running fraps. Um, not sure why. I got an older version of uh, fraps, and I've tried the combinations of different benchmarks, and it just won't work. I don't know why. But uh, let's see. It's about 63 right now. And uh, while this is running, because really I know you guys, I'll show you some uh, key points of where the uh, frames per second are pretty good. I mean, right here, yeah, 140, about 135 is pretty crazy. But uh, these PNYs actually, um, they're pretty amazing actually. The, oh, sorry, hang on a second, I'm trying to. Do something over here while I'm holding the camera. Okay. And if you want to see my plethora of computer junk, <laughs> I've had, uh, I do have another AMD build with that. I really highly recommend that. The This is an AMD board, obviously, the AM3. It's a 790FX GD70 by MSI. Um, the H50 is what I'm still currently using. And you've probably seen that in the other videos, you know, like that. Very amazing. I've got this one uh, at 4.2 gigahertz still going on the next test. And my temps usually idle around 38, which is phenomenal because I had a few other water cooling systems and they just, they really weren't as good. Okay, here on the Firefly Forest, pulling about 90 frames a second, 95. 
10K. And right there, that's pretty stinging good, actually. And with these early drivers, actually, these are the 257, I believe, beta drivers. Um, the funny thing was, I was running uh, Furmark, uh, the new one and the version, I think, 1.7, uh, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that, but... Um, uh, when I download the new drivers, you can look at the features of uh, the new NVIDIA for the GTX 400 series, and it said it gave it a 128%, I believe, or 125% increase on performance with that. I thought it was amazing, so I opened it up and ran it at uh, the 1920x1200, and I was getting 490 to 630 frames a second, and I, I was blown away. And uh, one thing I do not like about that benchmark, though, if you do submit it, is whether you run it for the actual 60 seconds or you run it for, you know, 10 minutes, you can get up the top score on there and it still says you're running it at 60 seconds, just so you guys know. It's probably what people are doing to get those high scores. Okay. Oh, yeah. CPU tests. Pulling two, three, four frames a second, two frame, three frame. Okay. Go ahead on the second one. And actually, um, I've got my solid states in here. I don't know if we can see them on this. Uh, you can't really see them that well. But uh, I have the Vertex 60 gigs. I've got uh, four of those in there right now. I actually had three, but I just went to four. So I had one from... Uh, my laptop, I just got a new one that came with an SSD, so, but I did see the new Vertex 2, and they are ridiculous, they are still SATA 2.0 revision, but they run at 285 megabytes a second read, and 275 write with a sustained write speed of 250 megabytes a second. Now, their 50 gig, I believe, is like 400 bucks, which... You know, if you're looking for a crazy increase, I mean, that, that drive alone is almost as fast as all four of these in RAID 0. So, I mean, I could just imagine putting two or three of those in RAID 0 would be just kind of ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, you can see right here we're getting about 280 frames a second. Guy pops out of the water. And we're at 280, 270. Still getting some crazy frames. I can keep as much of this in the video so you can see where I'm at. So if that's unfocusing, I'm trying. But yeah, basically this one, uh, I always look at these frames uh, that have gone by because around 15,000 you'll get about a 30,000 score depending on your CPU. But uh, yeah, we'll see. See what happens here because I am still at 200. Whoa. Wow, these frames are really high. Okay, I passed the 15,000 mark, about 15,200 on that one. I haven't hit that high. Even with the 5970s, I never got that high. Actually, I need to go grab that rig. I want to show you guys. It's a it's a gorgeous rig. And Okay, here we are on the new, and wow, 104, 105, wow. I'll try and keep it right there for you guys. 100. Wow, I have never had this higher frames a second on this. I mean, the 5850s could get, they would never get that high. These 470s are, oh, especially on tessellation. I'll put up another video for you guys um, with the tessellation performance on Unigen Heaven. Uh, I can do high and extreme, or however you want to do it, normal. That's what people usually do, and I've got them amazing results and uh, I think my minimum on that was actually 46 frames a second I believe and my max is like 173 and just let me know uh, leave a comment I always check them as often as I possibly can it might only be two times a day but I'll try sometimes it's 10 you never know but I'm willing to run anything you guys want to and uh, okay that's finishing up, and I'll try and squeeze this in here with the score if it hurries. Let's see what we got here. Because I haven't even overclocked anything yet. Okay, 28, 234. 
There's the SM 2.0, HDR slash SM 3.0 CPU.